When describing their craft, many brewers compare making beer to creating music. And like a composer <laughs> can hear their song before it's played, a brewer can taste their beer before it's created. We're in the CCO kitchen talking about Boom Island. It makes sense that classically trained musicians, Kevin and Chusha Welch, fell in love with the art of brewing, which led to the opening of Boom Island in the fall of 2011. And they have been pretty busy ever since. Joining us now is Kevin Welch uh, with more on how it all got started. Good morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, tell me, how do you go from classical music <laughs> to beer? It might seem like an odd uh, it's transition, a, it's a little but odd. Uh, a little known fact, brass players in the orchestras drink a lot of beer. <laughs> <laughs> so that really got me is that on what you to play? That's exactly right. We're both my wife and I were both French horn players and still are. Oh cool. So. Nice. So yep. French horn on uh, part of your life and brewing right. on the other part. Yeah. Tell us about Boom Island. You really are interested in the Belgian style. Exactly. Of yeah. To me, uh, the Belgian tradition of brewing, which is what we've done from day one and will continue to do, is really the refined essence of what what uh, in the beer world classical music is uh, to, the, to the music world. Really so explain, explain what a Belgian beer tastes like to people who might not know. You know, that, that's, uh, we only have how many minutes? Uh, <laughs> the, this is, the, the, Belgium is really uh, recognized for having the most widely diverse flavor spectrum in the beer, in, okay. in the, in the beer world uh, more than any other country. And but I always think of like a, a more refined flavor, maybe smooth. a, mm. a smoother. smoother. Complexity, you might Complex. find spices mm -hmm. used. You yeah. might find not spices, but yeast that act like spices. Mm. Uh, many times uh, the, the fermentation temperatures will be much higher than, mm. than a British beer or a German beer. And this is to coax out flavors that will be very spice-like, maybe reminiscent of, of clove or cinnamon mm. or, or even honey type flavors. Um, so so we're tell getting, us what we have. What did you bring here right. today? So I brought two beers. Uh, the first one is our Abbey Style Double uh, Hoodoo. This one has been out uh, for about three and a half years. Okay. It's an 8% nice dark Belgian, oh. uh, Belgian beer. It has no spices mm -hmm. in it, but you're going to get some nice caramel flavors. You're going to get perhaps a little bit of light banana on the aroma. Interesting. I love these little bottles that you have too. Yeah, terrific. We just moved this uh, beer to the little bottle format. Mm -hmm. So, well, well, you have to because it's an 8% alcohol. 8%. <laughs> <laughs> One sip I get this morning. You know, don't, One quick sip. don't hesitate away from the uh, large bottles. It's two pours, but this one you can open, and then the remaining three bottles are still good to drink for the I rest of the that. week. And how did you get the idea for yeah. why, why Boom Island? Um, you know, it's right. This is the it says the uh, landmark that's right across uh, the river from where we're located. Mm -hmm. good. Um, good. Also, Boom is is the it's a little suburb of the city of Antwerp, which is where I was sitting oh. in Belgium when oh. I when I composed the first recipe oh, uh, cool. that I ever released. I this love is the very nice. Composed. Why are we drinking this in a wine glass? Um, mm. The, this is where I was headed exactly with the uh, classical music connection. Perhaps Belgian beer in the beer world may be more like jazz, but it is a level of refinement that's a little bit above. It's got lots of flavor complexities, and it's going to be, the aromas especially, are going to be enhanced yeah. when you pour it into a wine glass. Very cool. Plus They're stronger. It makes you look really cool. Oh, yeah. you, you look <laughs> much I do more feel nice. very cool. Very yeah. All right, Kevin, mm -hmm. thanks so much. Thank we you. appreciate it. You can learn much more by going to our local Tap Talk blog on WCCO.com. Have a great profile of Boom Island and some of the other fantastic local breweries around the metro. Great beer, too. Thanks, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Monday